glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Lincoln is a sea of red. On game day, Memorial Stadium becomes one of the largest cities in the state. That's because these fans know the big red thrashing machine is ready and open for business. Nebraska going for a huge victory at home today. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Central Michigan is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Robinson from the six. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Martinez's ability to throw the football has got everybody talking. Whenever he decides to turn pro, he might be a very good one, Kirk. Brad, every quarterback at any level, the two things you have to see from them is decision-making and accuracy. And not only does he have decision-making and accuracy, he also has a really strong arm. And when you combine all those things together, it's no wonder that the people up at the next level are already taking a good, hard look at it. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen. was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From the 38-yard line, third down. Here's the receiver screen, falls incomplete. The ball was underthrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Slings it. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Got a man. Watch out here. He's at midfield. And they finally knock him out at the 40. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. Larry, Larry, Larry. 
He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Just an excellent individual effort to make the play there. I have to tell you, for being so young, he looks pretty good out there at linebacker. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 42-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. Maybe a yard that time on the screen. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Swings it out there incomplete. The Cornhuskers have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. He's at the 30, makes it to the 24. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. of about two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 11. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down around the 13-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. kick plenty of distance he's to the 20 and he's 
Taken down at the 21. Nebraska's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down in the open field. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread them out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 17. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. so much traffic in the middle there it really makes it tough to break free the offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive so much of the passing game is about the time between the quarterback and his wide receiver right now with this offense they are in sync and really the timing and execution is flawless i like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it the offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle Nebraska up seven points. Pass complete and taken down immediately. breaking down the defense and then going in for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 44-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score... 14 nothing makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Nebraska's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. Corner 
coming for him. That happened so fast, he never had a chance to make a move. Got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's to the 40. And down he goes. Right around the 40. Gain of 11 yards. First down. Double tight. Double tight. Three down. Three down. Thirty wins the mic. Set. He scrambled. He's taken down at the 43. As we change into the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. Nebraska's in front by 14. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Taken down right around the 44-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Tackle after a decent pickup. Lewis gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's tackled at about the 31. Miller makes the tackle at the 31 yard line. First From the 31 yard line, it's first down. 17 is Mike. Mike 17. Set. Texas. Motion, motion. Picks up a yard. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Here comes the pressure. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 28 yard line. down and they need to get it to the 21. From the 17 yard line, it's second down. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And this is the 14th play of the drive. That brings up a second and goal. Two yards to the end zone. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. And he's level at the 
two. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. This is the 16th play of this drive. Definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he shows you why right there. He makes the PAT. A long 16-play, 81-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a 7-on-7 drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Robinson from the four. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nebraska is up seven. And they hit him in the backfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. down and they need to get it inside the 43. Going long. Oh boy, almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Nebraska is up a score. Tries to get around the corner. He'll take it from the 18. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He gets to about the 41-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. First and 10, ball on the 41. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He's on the run. And he is drilled at the 45. That's good for a game four yards. That'll bring up 36. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. That 
Catches it, and he's looking for more. Steps out of bounds at the 28. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because the play-action, it really puts a lot of pressure on a defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position, and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. Rolls and it's knocked away. When you're in zone coverage, that means your linebackers have got to be ready to defend the pass coming into their area. That was a good reaction to tip the ball away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28. He's out of bounds around the 19-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Play fake, looking to run. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. Here they go. First and goal, down by a touchdown. Up the middle for a nice game. Lewis picks up about four yards on the play. Central Michigan will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Tackle made around the two-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That corner did a great job there containing the outside and not allowing the ball to get by him. That showed good discipline by this defense. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. You like the tight end inside the 10 yard line because they have a knack for finding the opening. Then you can just drill it in there. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11 play, 71 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. 14 apiece. Robinson from the two, and he's tackled at the 27. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Fires that quickly to the tailback. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of five yards. That's a third and ten. From their own 27-yard line. It's third down. Makes it out to about the 40. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. It's second and ten. Ball on the 40. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Looks like they're ready for the kick. 
Sullivan fields it at the two. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. 17-14, Cornhuskers. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use this strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, Get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20. At the 30. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Good, solid return that time. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see if they make any defensive adjustments here to try to slow things down. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he's tackled around the 36 yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. 31 to Mike. Set! Again, he'll get the call. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That makes it It's second down, eight to go. Ball in the 34. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Number 13 makes the tackle at the 28-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. And down he goes at the 14-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. From the 14-yard line, first down. He's taken down around the 11-yard line. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. 31 to Mike. Six. And he's taken down right around the 12-yard line. By the time the running back here looking up he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks really is nothing he could do at all there that was more of a miscommunication of just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line he's gonna try and scramble Moore gets three yards on that scramble this one should be makeable Central Michigan is looking to tie things up. It's up, and the field goal is good. It's up, and the field goal is good. 
Robinson takes it at the four. Robinson. And he's taken it down at the 26 yard line. And he's taken down at the 26 yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams. That we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Nice run up the middle. right there. Screen pass incomplete. The quarterback's dialed in so much on the coverage and looking downfield. By the time he came over to find his running back, he just misfired. Second and ten. Ball on their own 39. Wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Catches it. Down at the 49. They come out in a five wide set. running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Kid to get in there and make the sack. This is the ninth play of this drive. We own you. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Let's go. Catches it needs to immediately tackle behind the line. And they lose a couple there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. Tackle made at the 21. So they gain a few yards, but they're nowhere near picking up the first down. Well, it was third down and long. They had a long way to go. I think that was more of a safe call. The last thing this offense wants to do is take a shot downfield and cause some kind of turnover. He gets it up, and he got it. Nebraska is ready to kick it away. to the 20. He's taken down at the 32. The Cornhuskers staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Makes it out to about the 43. First and 10. Ball on their own 43. Three down, three down. 31 to right. Set. Just throws this one away. Right. 
scrambling around. Decides to slide, and he just slid down to avoid the contact there. You know, Brad, sometimes a quarterback's got to get down low to protect himself. But in this case, try to show some guts. Break a tackle and get downfield. Look for the first down. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. With the pass, incomplete. Central Michigan's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Nebraska is up by three. Has some daylight. Makes it to the 34. was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And a quick throw. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. on the carry. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up. And it's through the uprights. Cole is lined up to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. Gets to about the 17-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, the Cornhuskers lead 23-17. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 17-yard line. Second down. He 
He's got it with room to run. Inside the 30. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. First down. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And he makes it on to about the 24-yard line. out to about the 21. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled at the 13. Team. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. Sweep left, makes it to the 12-yard line. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Let's get you up to date on what's happening in Evanston. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. The Wildcats take it by four. Field goal difference in this one, Reese, 23-20. Central Michigan, ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Nebraska is up a field goal. perfect defense by this corner. Great job of providing run support. just suffocated him there. Looks middle, got his back. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Well, as you just saw right there, the screen pass can be a very effective weapon for an offense, especially when they're disciplined and when the receivers are patient. Up the middle for a nice game. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. 
That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike check, 33. 33. players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Nebraska has a three-point lead. And down he goes. The 25-yard up about seven yards on the halfback draw. yard line martinez only gets about a yard there on the option keeper solid stop there by the corner on that one i'll tell you i love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that decent run here right side Fred, that's a huge first down for this offense at this point the defense is only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big touchdown for That's a huge touchdown on the ground, Herbie. That might do it. And he hits the PAT. It was a 14-play, 71-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Cole has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He really got a hold of that kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. the 37-yard line. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. Dangerous pass here, and it falls incomplete. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. A nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. 
That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 50. Got a receiver and he dropped it. catch good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession that's the right way to catch a pass first down 10 to go ball on the 36 yard line fires quickly and he's got his man tackle made right around the 30 we have less than a minute to go. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes us three. This is the ninth play of this drive. <laughs> Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down right around the two-yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And that just might do it. Intercepted. Big time interception, and this game's over. From their own 20 yard line, it's first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this block. He'll go down to one knee. Central Michigan's called their final timeout. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Martinez's performance today, right now, Kirk, the nation is watching, and uh, they're pretty impressed with what they saw. Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of people are going to see the kind of numbers that he put up today. And more importantly, I think his team's going to be able to continue to build their offense around him and his attributes of what he brings to this offense. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.